Hello everybody, Mike Frazier from Miller Industries. Today we're here to show you a few different features available on your Wayland light bar. On this Wayland light bar, one of the cool features I found that I like is if you go to the control panel, push the switch panel, there's an arrow on the bottom that says left and right. So if you activate this, it actually turns your light bar into an arrow stick. So you can actually activate it to the left, to the right, or it'll go from the center out to the left and right. So you can kind of direct that traffic away from your recovery unit. Depending on what your options are on your light bar, there is an option inside of the Wayland screen. You can actually activate it where it will, in the traffic advisor, you can turn it on. And when you turn your turn signal on, it will actually become a arrow stick itself on the light bar with the activated turn signal. Depending on what light bar you have chosen for your truck and with the system, whether it's Raptor or MMO, not all of them have the turn signal advisor. You will have to manually do it on the touchpad. On some of them, it just depends on what you choose for your vehicle. When you're on the Wayland screen, and you're on the traffic advisor pattern selection, there's more than one selection in here. There's actually five. You choose what you want. And there's actually one designed for the state of California because they have a mandatory pattern that they have to use. The most important thing you do though, when you do select this, you select which one you want, then you always have to confirm it on the bottom. Once you confirm it, then the traffic pattern will be assigned to your light bar. If you do not confirm this, it's going to stick what was, was originally on that light bar. Another feature on here is the beacon pattern. You go to the Wayland page, it'll say beacon pattern. You want to customize it, you touch the customize button. Then you have 12 different random patterns on here. It's as simple as turning your main beacon light on and then just choosing whatever one you want. And once again, there is one designed for the state of California. So you can choose that one or whatever one you personally want. And once again, you push the one you need then you always have to confirm it on the bottom. There's a couple other neat features on this system that you can utilize for yourself. Go to the home page, go to the switch panel, you wanna turn your main beacon on, exit back out to the home page, to the Wayland page, and on the bottom here, you'll see it's low power mode. Low power mode literally cuts the light intensity down by a 50%. So if you don't need them bright lights, you're in a neighborhood or something, you want it to be a little bit dimmer, but you still want the safety of them overhead lights, you can dim them down. Another cool feature is you can actually shut the front or the back of this beacon off independently. You simply just go on here, front beacon off, you're done, and now the beacon is off. And when you go back to your home page, it actually tells you that the bar is in low power, so it doesn't stay there. So when you get on your next call, you want the high power beam again, you can actually activate it back up. These are just a few of the features, but stay tuned for future videos as we are working with Wayland on software updates that will include a few more new features. Hey everybody, thanks for watching, and make sure you subscribe to our news feed to stay up to date to all the latest news and information from Miller Industries. Miller Industries the world leader in towing and recovery equipment. This video is for product demonstration purposes only and is not intended for training or instructional purposes. Situations vary and operators should rely on their own professional knowledge and safety procedures when conducting actual recoveries.